Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about smart charging for a smarter future, fault prediction and deduction in electric vehicle chargers using MATLAB. In this example analyzes the fault of an electric vehicle charger using MATLAB Simscape electrical toolbox to model the grid, the converter and its control unit. In this example, we can also use, use to measure the grid and DC side of the converter to detect the gate driver fault in the converter. This is, this example is available in the following HTML file. First is small introduction about fault detection of electric vehicle chargers using MATLAB. Fault detection of electric vehicle charger using MATLAB involves developing a model to simulate the behavior of the charger and analyzing the data from the sensors to detect any anomalies or uh, deviations from the expected behavior. Here are some of the uh, ideas to develop fault detection algorithm for an electric vehicle charger using MATLAB. First, we need to develop a simulate model of an electric charger system that includes the relevant components such as AC to DC converter and DC to DC converter and battery. Then, uh, develop a fault detection algorithm using MATLAB. There, there are some interactive uh, apps are available in MATLAB particularly for classification learner and also, and also code generating learner. By using this MATLAB uh, um, apps, we can generate easily code from Simlink file. This algorithm should use the data from the sensors to detect any anomalies or uh, deviations from expected behavior in the charger system. Some of the common faults that can be detected include over voltage, under voltage, over current and over temperature conditions. Then after developing the fault, evolution, fault detection algorithm, Validate the fault detection algorithm using the simulated data. The data is available in the website. Here also you can download the uh, matrix data. This involves running the simulic model with simulated faults to test if the algorithm can accurately detect and classify the faults. Finally, you can implement the fault detection algorithm in the real electric vehicle charger system and test it under real world condition. These are the model, model view of uh, MATLAB simulating electric vehicle charger fault analysis. It also include uh, to model the grid and converter and its control in it. Here, here you need to give the data. Here there are, there are some of the basic steps to follow. First you, have, you need to create a model for electric vehicle charging system that includes a grid, converter and the control unit. Then in this inside the um, simulic block you can add the sensor to model the measure critical parameters such as voltage, current, temperature and Power. These sensors will be used to detect any anomalies or deviations from the expected behavior and also we need to develop a control algorithm. Uh, it, it is used to regulate the converter outputs voltage and current based measurements from the connected sensors. This algorithm should include a fault detection module that can detect faults in the system such as over voltage, over current and also if there is any short circuits happen. Then finally we, we need to validate the model by simulating under the different operating conditions. Here you, you, in this um, MATLAB simulating file, here one more point is there, define the model parameters. If you click this uh, file model parameters, you can also uh, simulating by using different operating conditions and fault scenarios. Using MATLAB uh, simulating uh, tools, you can uh, automatically generate the data and test control algorithms, performance and fault detection capabilities by using interactive simulation uh, result using SSC Explorer. There is a simulating uh, interactive explorer for each and every block you can see the analysis. Uh, finally, implement the control algorithm and the fault, uh, fault detection algorithm in the accurate um, uh, value you need to you need to send the uh, files to the scope scope uh, and also you can collect the data from the sensors in the real systems uh, you and MATLAB is used to analyze the data to det uh, detect the faults. This is one of the subsystem. This is a, if you double click on this block you can get this grid subsystem. Here also you can double click on the block you can get the converter subsystem. Here the first you need to double click the grid uh, block you can get this subsystem grid subsystem. In this example uh, we can use measurements from the grid and DC side of the converter to detect a gate driver falls uh, in the converter also. This uh, grid subsystem is model is an ideal voltage source. To model a grid with a different grid voltage and frequency change the parameters the uh, files available if you click on this one, one here you can get the file analysis data is also available here to analyze and test the fault first you can generate the synthetic data for different conditions with and without faults here here you can see we can click on this model parameters here, here also you can see the synthetic data then 
you can use the data to train classification algorithm using classification learner app available in MATLAB Simlink. Finally, we use the trained model to identify or detect faults in an any phase and to generate the code for deployment on the particular hardware. We can use the real time application. We can send extend this model for the other system uh, level variations or noises by having a much larger comprehensive training data set. Is there another subsystem called converter and control unit subsystem? This is the first one is a converter uh, unit subsystem. This converter subsystem is modeled as a three phase two level converter using IGBT. It is an ideal switching condition. You can, uh, can fault any any of the six IGBTs by changing the duty cycle D and to zero. To change the duty cycle, use the get driver fault parameters yeah, available in this particular subsystems. This is a second one is the control unit subsystem. It controls the three phase converter by using ID IQ control with unity power factor operations that enables a constant DC voltage of 800 volt. The next one by interactive classification learner app to identify and train a classification learning algorithm for the system that is a fault detection of electric vehicle charging system first you need to load the training data in the in our matlab workscape work workspace then to verify the model trained using the classification learner and entirely new data sets then finally after training the data you can get this uh, predicted class and the true class match for the uh, all the test data points this shows a uh, very good success rate in identifying the right, ki right kind of fault or no fault. Now you can see the simulation part. This is the electric vehicle charger fault analysis block. Here we already we, say, we discussed about this one. This is a uh, MATLAB data file is an important data file. If, if you double click on that, we can see the block parameter to the file. Incrementally write the data into a variable into the specified Matter mat file here also it, uh, it shows the uh, saved in the form of time series format. Then this is our grid subsystem. Uh, what we discussed before is a grid subsystem which you uh, used to, to ID which does ideal current source. Then this one control unit block. Then these are converter subsystem. This converter subsystem having this IGBT design is a, a get driver fault where we need to give that synthetic data. It is a, it is a available in the form of uh, a constant uh, value parameter file. Is our scope is available now? Just to you click to run on the file, you can get this output like this. Also, you need to uh, write the script for this particular uh, particular uh, grid data that is a uh, grid data and also predictor labels actual labels simulation parameters and check fault during the uh, seconds in these are the files you need to type then if you click on the run button you can see see the output prediction is correct validation accuracy is 94.59 again you need to uh, click this one what happened you will check these are output scope. It's an interactive Simlink uh, Explorer. These are Explorer. Here you can see the uh, current controlled voltage source in this three phase format. It's a current sensor output. If you click on in this way, you can click on this first one is a converter block. The second one is a grid grid control system, grid subsystem. Then third one is a load load subsystem. In this converter subsystem, you can see the outputs like this. There are the power dissipated one. The same thing you can see. The next one converter side. This is a grid side. In this grid side, here also some more subsystems are there. In this subsystem, you can see. See the output like this. Only we need S yes value means S yes value we are getting. It's a V value. In this manner, you can see each and every block of your simulink model. Based on the this your current sensor. Is a electrical reference. These are all the inductor and power dissipated. Also, this is a subsystem. Another subsystem called this is output one. These are uh, loads, loads of system block. In this way, you can analyze your result by using interactive simulink explorer. Result explorer is an another one. Is the inductor inductor part here? You can see the output. Here there are no no faults. 
there also uh, there are some uh, trace selection by using the trace selection you can f uh, get the four different measurements is the first one is a vdc and second one is a control unit one this is actual fault there are three different fault conditions we can uh, able to measure the it's it, it, it acts as a actual actual fault a and actual fault b and actual fault c in this manner you can see the output and also peak finder uh, value you can set this peak finder value it shows the legend value as a peak one this is a control unit this one in this way you can see the output there are no faults are there now Go, go to the prediction algorithm just to run on this script data you can see the command prompt now now it is getting there are uh, 91 point validation accuracy prediction is correct then again you train the model what happened you can see is a validation accuracy prediction is correct 95 point you can get in this way you can see by by using the um, matlab classification learner app you can see train the train your uh, data with fault data and um, um, uh, original data here you can see the prediction fault as so stored in three different workspaces fault uh, for part prediction fault a prediction fault b prediction fault c in this this one real fault in this way you can see the output in the form of this one after after that you can analyze the result by using interactive result and uh, result explorer block simscape result explorer block then also you can get this output true classes was of predicted classes i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching if you are new here of my channel means kindly subscribe my channel and also uh, these files are available in matlab uh, youtube description box kindly use it for research purpose thanks for thank you all thanks for watching thank you